It is time again for Funky Function Friday. And I want to thank the folks who have really appreciated these episodes that I've done. We're having fun. Hopefully it's helping you keep your data clean using Excel. And I want to really thank Sue Koch and Anthony Newell for some comments that they've made. It's very inspiring. I appreciate it. So we're going to do this. Before we dive in, I want to straighten something out from last week. I said something terrible. I said, if your mother asks you where you got that funk from, don't tell her. But see, that's so wrong. I remember that Dr. Funkenstein told us that funk heals. Funk not only moves, it removes. And I'm here to say that it includes. So if anybody has some data, they got to get on some of this funk, this Excel funk. Mothers want to funk. Fathers, little babies. We don't care if you got data. It's got to be clean. So, we don't care if you're blind, crippled, or crazy. Part of the family. And in light of inclusion, what we're going to look at today is the full outer join in Excel's Get and Transform, also called Power Query. And guess what? We're going to have a party. We got a list of people who were invited and the people who say that they're coming and what they're bringing. Look at here. We got Kenny and his phone number. We don't know if he's coming to bring a guest. We have to look over here on this list and I don't see Kenny, but I do see Maxine on both lists. I see JT on both lists. So what the outer join is going to do is bring all of the data together, whether there's a match on one side or not, because we are including today, folks. We want to create a master list, but we just don't want to stack the data on top of each other, right? We want to have where Maxine is, put her on one row. Where there's Kenny, of course, Kenny will be on his own row. There's also the list of people who say that they're coming, but they aren't on the invited list. Now, before we do this, I'm pointing out that this data is in tables already because tables are your groove in a well-made spreadsheet. Tables are your rhythm section. They are the funky bass and the drummer with the nasty backbeat. Tables keep everything tight. A band is tight when the drummer and the basses have their act together. A singer, a good singer cannot save a band if it's sitting on top of a bad rhythm section. But a good rhythm section can have the singer be quiet and they will keep the dance floor full. And that's what tables can help you do. All right, so the data's already in tables. Let's get on with the get on. We're going to create our queries first because we have to merge two queries. Data from table. All right. Now we've got this data. This is the invited table. Let's call this query invited. And close and load to connection. Load. There's our invited query click in this table from table let's call this the food good close and load to connection all right there we are now let's merge our queries query combine queries merge and the invited query up top, the food query down below, and let's do a full outer join. And what's being matched? The names from coming and the names for invited. Okay. Ha. And you'll see here that we have the invited table. And let's expand this. We want both of those columns and uncheck this 
uh, original column name because that just makes ugly headers. Okay. And there we go. Good. So let's load this to the workbook and look at it a little closer. Yeah. Now we can see what we want to see. JT's data is all on one row. Here's his phone number and we can see that he's bringing chocolate. All right, Joel. Well, we need to know what kind of meat he's bringing. We don't have a phone number. We got to figure that out. Good. So now look at what's happening at the bottom. These are the people who are coming, but they aren't on the invited list. That's all right, because why? Because we are inclusive. And Stephanie and her empanadas are very welcome. And there we have it. That is what the full outer join has done for us. It's brought it all together for us. Now we can all have a real party with clean data. And thanks a lot, and I'll see you next week on Funky Function Friday. Thank you.